Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share our updated bathroom with you all today. We have been working on this for over a month. It's taken up any and all of my extra time. Not that I ever have any of that. So I'm going to be showing you what I can of the process of updating this bathroom, the logic behind the things that we chose for this space, and of course, giving you all of my small space organizing ideas. If you're here just for the organizing, I will leave a timestamp in the description box below to where that begins. Otherwise, let's just get started with the makeover first. I want to preface this by saying that we are not professionals. We actually have no idea what we're doing. So just take everything that I say with a grain of salt in this video. I think that in hindsight, I would have hired at least a painter for this project if I could do it over again, but you live and you learn and it still turned out nice. So anyway, the first thing that we did was remove the beadboard or wainscoting, whatever you want to call it. And now we are working on scraping all of the glue off of the wall. This was very tedious and frustrating and we tried a bunch of different tools to do this to figure out what would work the best and we found that this wall razor worked the best but it still was not great and it took a really long time and as i was going i was using joint compound to fill in all of the holes on the wall and try to smooth it out this took days and days and days of work because i just don't have a lot of free time and i just had to do it when i had the time so like i said in hindsight i would have probably hired a painter because i definitely underestimated how difficult that project would be outside my window is everything pale and cold? Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long. Behind so to make this project extra fun, I decided to start all of this two weeks before we were hosting Carson's birthday party at our house. And if you don't know, this is our only bathroom. So we needed this bathroom to look somewhat presentable for this party and demoing it two weeks before the party probably wasn't the smartest move but it did light a fire under our butts so to speak and it got us moving probably a lot quicker than we would have otherwise we were waiting on the vanity to arrive so we weren't able to install our new vanity mirror or light until that vanity arrived and that wasn't until after carson's party so you might see that this is just gonna look a little bit funky because i'm painting around things that we're ultimately going to be taking down but we needed the bathroom to be functional and look decent for the party since it is our only bathroom but definitely don't do what I did because it made things a lot more complicated than they probably needed to be. So I would suggest that you be patient and maybe don't try and demo your bathroom right before you have an event at your house. My bed feels like heaven. I lose track of time and space. Behind this cloud. Like I said, the fixing of the walls was definitely the most tedious part. It took us a really long time because there was so much damage on the walls from the beadboard, wainscoting, whatever it's called, and it was just such a mess. And the reason why I didn't want to leave that beadboard is for a couple of reasons. One being that this bathroom is so small that even just that like half inch or inch that the beadboard stuck out from the walls felt like it made the bathroom that much smaller. And the other reason is that the bathroom does not have very good airflow, so it's a very humid environment and dust just tends to cling to everything in that type of environment and I felt like the beadboard just constantly looked dirty and no matter how much I cleaned it, it was always dusty and it was always sticky and always dirty. So I just needed to get rid of it and just start fresh with a clean wall. I don't know that I won't do some sort of accent at some point but I'm definitely glad that the beadboard is gone, even though this was a huge, huge pain, and I would for sure hire a painter if I were you. I would not try to do this myself ever again. Yeah. 
we bought this house in june of 2021 and we actually had a lot bigger plans than we ended up going through with for this house there's a lot of different reasons why things didn't happen but originally we were going to put on an addition and i don't think we're going to do that now but we are renovating our kitchen and we are getting all new floors in the next couple of weeks our kitchen cabinets are scheduled to arrive august 30th so hopefully by the end of august things will be looking pretty close to done i'm really really looking forward to having a more modern and clean and pretty kitchen but anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing any of that process, I would definitely say follow me over on Instagram because I do not plan on doing like a kitchen makeover video since we hired out for this job. And if you guys want to see, I will definitely be posting the progress along the way over there. now it is finally time to paint so this is when everything starts to feel like it's coming together and it just looks a lot less awful <laughs> so i was very happy to get some paint on the walls and cover up all of the colors i don't know who picked the lilac or who picked the light blue there was also a dark red under there so that's crazy i cannot imagine a dark dark red bathroom but this color that I picked is Classic Gray by Benjamin Moore, and I went with this color because this is what we used in our new finished basement area, and I really like it, so just figured I would do it in the bathroom as well. Honestly, it is a tad bit dark for me. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but it looks a million times better than the colors that were there before, so I'm definitely happy with it, and maybe down the line I will choose to repaint it or hire a painter <laughs> to fix all of my mistakes. But for now, it's good and we do like the color. For the sake of the video, I'm only going to show you guys me painting one coat. And I do want to point out that no, I did not remove the outlet covers or anything like that in order to paint. And that is pure laziness because I just didn't want to take them off and deal with it. But I know that I should, so you don't have to leave a comment down below. I do know I should do that. And like I said, maybe at some point I'll hire a painter who can come in and do a lighter color for me and maybe fix my little mistakes. But for now, it's good enough for me. It looks fine. And I was just so ready, honestly, to be done with this project. It is so hard to film painting in such a small room, but I'm done painting for now until we get our vanity taken out, finish ripping out the beadboard. There's still beadboard back here that we just could not get to. So gotta rip this vanity out. As soon as a new one comes in, obviously I have to do baseboards. I need to clean the grout like real bad in here. And then obviously we're taking out this mirror and we're taking out that light. So we still have so much work left to do in here, but Carson has a birthday party next week so if we don't get to that before then at least this bathroom is somewhat presentable we kind of cut down the beadboard as much as we could so that there's not like jagged edges right here but this is what we're working with but the paint looks so much better so much better obviously i still have some touching up to do and um, i need to do like the door and the trim and stuff and there were some that got up on the ceiling there but otherwise like this looks a million times better this bathroom is just so small that having the beadboard in here made it feel even that much smaller because it kind of like jutted out on either side here so i'm so happy to see it go but i'm loving the progress so far and i can't wait to start hanging things up we have our new cabinet that i think i'm gonna have my husband put in asap and then also we have a toilet paper holder and towel racks and all that so i can't wait to get all that put up
I searched high and low for a new vanity and a new cabinet and just could not figure out what style I really wanted or what I was going for, but ultimately I kept going back to the mid-century collection from West Elm. That's also what my bedroom furniture is. I have the mid-century bed and the mid-century dresser, and so I decided to go with those for the bathroom too, and I feel like it all kind of ties in together, but for this uh, space I wanted to go with the kind of acorn finish, and I love it. This is the last shot of the old vanity and I'm excited to show you guys the new one that we got. So we ended up running into a little bit of a hiccup in here when my dad came to put in the vanity for us, which is in now and it looks so good, so beautiful. But obviously we have a lot of work to do still fixing the wall over here. It's just the way that we had to do it. I know that most people would take the vanity out when they're demoing the bathroom and fix everything at the same time and fix it before he put the vanity back in but we couldn't do that because this is the only bathroom that we have and we just are working on very limited time to get things done so it is what it is we will fix the wall but we had an issue with our electrical when my dad went to open up um, this wall to put the recessed mirror in so we just had an electrician come and do what he needed to do so that we can put our new light up here and move all the electrical out of the way for the medicine cabinet. So next step, my dad is gonna put in the medicine cabinet and the new light, and then things are going to start looking almost done, and I'm so excited. I didn't want to shove a camera in my dad's face when he was trying to work in this bathroom because this space is honestly, it's just too small to try and film a whole bathroom makeover, so I didn't get any clips of him installing it. But he came and he installed our new mirror and our new light and I love them so much. But I did have a little bit of work to do around the mirror because you could see where the drywall was cut. There was just no, I think he called them like flanges or something that were supposed to go around the mirror. But this mirror did not come with any so I had to try and correct it myself. So at first I tried using corner bead and that just was not working out. So then I ended up going in with paper joint tape, I think is what it's called. And I had to do layers and layers of joint compound and sanding to try and make it look somewhat seamless, but it was definitely tricky. I this process, but this was so frustrating that I just did not film it, but I just put um, paper joint tape all around the mirror because as you can see there's a gap right there and it was looking really rough because of um, just cutting into the drywall to install this mirror so i applied that that was not easy because this is such like a tight space and all i had was this six inch putty knife to spread the joint compound that was not ideal because it was too big for the space so i had to get real creative to try and get this done but I'm gonna let this dry, and then once it's dry, I'm probably gonna apply another layer of it, sand it, um, do all that, and then I think I'm actually going to caulk down right here. I was going to put corner bead, and I did buy some, but it just was not sitting flush enough to the wall because there's, there's like screws and stuff in here that are kind of interfering with it, and it was just getting to be too frustrating, so I went with the paper tape, and then I'll caulk it to hide that gap as best as I can. You only notice it when the um, medicine cabinet is open, but this was a super frustrating process, so I'm glad that this is at least somewhat done. Now we are moving on to another day, and this was the day that I decided that I was done waiting for this bathroom to be done and that I really needed to organize the space because, like I said, this is our only bathroom. And just having it in disarray for so long and not having all of our things in there where we can access them was just getting really difficult and annoying, honestly. So I'm going to really quickly do a little bit more sanding and then I'm going to paint one final little bit on the walls and then we are going to get to organizing. And I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I got to organize this bathroom and the ideas that I came up with. I think it came out really good and I feel like we definitely utilized the space to its highest potential.
You guys can see around the mirror, I had another layer of joint compound on there and that was drying and then I needed to sand it and paint again. So full disclosure, the bathroom was not fully finished when I filmed the organizing portion of this video and I just don't want you guys to think that I left it that way. So these are all of the items that I purchased to organize this bathroom and I did a little bit of research into them before I bought them. I wanted to make sure they were going to fit so I really measured everything and thought pretty strategically about what I was going to put in each thing that I was buying before I bought them. So I'm going to leave a link in my description box down below to all of the items that I'm using in this video. Most of them are from Amazon or Target and they're all relatively affordable so if you're on a budget, maybe pick one or two items that might work for you and you can try them out in your space. I'm definitely not saying that you need to buy all of these things in order to have an organized space. Before I could get to organizing, I wanted to prep the space. So I'm of course cleaning everything off and I'm doing that mostly because there was so much dust from all of the sanding, but I pretty much always clean off an area before I get to organizing it. I got this Gorilla Grip drawer and shelf liner on Amazon and I really like this and I think that not only does it protect the surface because this is a brand new beautiful vanity, I don't want to destroy it, but it also just keeps all of your organization from slipping and sliding around and ultimately getting messed up. So you don't have to do this, but I decided to do it just because I wanted to go the extra mile and really protect the surfaces in my vanity. Something I really liked about this vanity in particular is that it is about six inches smaller than the previous vanity that we had as far as width goes. And I did want it to go all the way up against that side wall there, but we were not able to do that just because of where the plumbing was located. And then the other thing that I liked about it is that it has legs. So there's a little bit of a gap down there and I can store things like, for example, Carson has a stool that he needs to reach the sink and I can push that underneath the vanity instead of having it directly in front of the vanity and kind of blocking it like we always have had in the past. We have been injured so many times by the stool that we had in the bathroom before. So I ended up buying a foldable one, which I don't know if I ended up showing in this video or not, but I did buy a foldable stool that I have been storing underneath the vanity and it's worked so much better. I wanted to get everything built, put together, and then put inside of the areas that I planned to organize before I actually started filling them, just to make sure that the vision I had in my head was going to ultimately make sense and that I was organizing in the best way possible. These baskets fit perfectly and I really like them because they are utilizing the vertical space that I have in this cabinet. This is a relatively small bathroom cabinet, but I feel like there's more storage in this vanity than there was in the old one, even though it is smaller. I just feel like the way that it's laid out makes a lot more sense than the one that we had before did. Sinking deep underwater. 
baby, it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. This is how the Gorilla Grip ended up looking at the bottom of our drawers. And I am really happy that I decided to go the extra mile and do this step. I just think ultimately it's going to help protect the vanity and also help keep things from slipping and sliding all around. Loving, loving, loving on me, eh, hey, loving on me. Maybe you won't see me get emotional. And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all. But I want you lying next to me. Yeah, I want your body, body, body too. Yeah, body too. Organization is all trial and error until you figure out what works for you. And I don't know that these containers are going to work. I really like the idea of them, but they're just a little too wide, so I can't fit more than, honestly, just these in here. I'm sure I can use them somewhere else in my house, but I'm going to really think about it and decide if I'm going to return them or not, but I'm going to try to use them and just see how it goes, if it helps me at all, and if it's not helping me, then I'll probably um, remove these, but like I said, it's all trial and error, so sometimes you win and things fit perfectly. Like, for example, these fit perfectly down here, and then other times things don't work. Before I go any further, I'm just going to pick up the bathroom a little bit because I just can't work in a messy space and I was starting to get packaging and things everywhere. And then also our shower curtain had fallen down for some reason that morning, so I needed to put that back up. I just got this new one and it is from Target. I think it's the Casa Luna line and it's like a white waffle shower curtain and I think it's so pretty. So I'll link it down below if you guys are looking for a new one. I just think it makes the bathroom look a little bit more like hotel vibes and I'm into it. I got this two-tier stand from Amazon and I really liked that it came with everything that you needed like a little screwdriver you didn't have to go and find a screwdriver in order to put it together just kind of a nice touch but anyway I'm putting that together and I got this for the cabinet above the toilet because that cabinet does not have any shelving in it and I felt like this would just help to raise some things up and you would be able to see things better instead of just having everything sitting on one shelf right in front of each other and having things get buried. Say you love me. Say you don't. Just give me something so I can move on. Pull me closer. Push me away Let me know if We'll be okay my absolute favorite thing about this whole entire bathroom is this medicine cabinet. It is stunning it is amazing and it adds so much storage space without taking up any additional room in the bathroom at all and i feel like because this mirror is so tall it also made the bathroom appear bigger it also does not jut out very far like our old mirror used to so it just it seriously feels like it opened up the bathroom so much and I love that it has a mirror inside of it as well. So when you open it, you can still see yourself when you're doing your skincare or whatever it is that you're doing. So I honestly, I got this mirror for myself, for my things to be stored in, and I'm filling it up with pretty much only my things. We don't have a master bathroom, so this is about as close to a his and hers sink as I'm going to get having my own mirror. So I'm taking full advantage and filling it up with my things and I just, I love it so much. You guys will see, I'm going to continue messing with it throughout this video, but it just added so much storage space. And if you have a small bathroom like we do and you have the ability to put in a recessed mirror, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. But now we're going to work on organizing all of my makeup. So it is I 
I had been storing all of my makeup in like a travel case since around Christmas time and it worked great for a while and actually it was really convenient because I would bring it into the living room and I would get ready on the floor next to my baby while he was playing on his playmat but he's now getting to be a little bit mobile so I can't really do that anymore because he gets into everything and he puts everything in his mouth. So it was finally time for me to put all of my makeup back into a regular old acrylic organizer and I got this one from Target from the Bright Room line and I'm super happy with it and I ended up putting it on top of my bathroom cabinet and I think that's the perfect location for it and it's been working out really great. Something else that I really like is that as you can see I have to wash every single item before I put it away because the way they were inside of that makeup case sometimes things would leak and get all over everything so pretty much everything needed to be cleaned but now I feel like I won't run into that issue anymore so I'm definitely glad that I was finally able to put all my makeup back into one of these acrylic organizers. Originally I wanted one that was not clear because I feel like this can kind of look like clutter but I just could not find one that I liked that was the right size that was not clear. But now that it's in there, I think it looks fine and it doesn't make the room look cluttered. It took me some time to figure out what I wanted to put into the medicine cabinet versus what I wanted to put into the bathroom cabinet and all of that. So you'll see for a little while here, I'm kind of putting things away and then I'm taking them out and I'm trying them somewhere else and I'm just kind of putting things all over the place. And I like to leave clips like that in the video because I want you guys to see that you don't always get it right on the first try and that sometimes organization can take quite a bit of thinking and logic before you figure out what works for you and honestly sometimes it doesn't work for you and a couple of weeks later you may realize that you need to try something else. Before I put my makeup brushes away, I wanted to go ahead and clean them. I honestly can't remember the last time that I cleaned my makeup brushes, which is so bad. So that's actually why I included it in this video. A little bit of realness for you guys, but also a PSA to please clean your makeup brushes. It's probably time. A big reason why a lot of these makeup brushes were not cleaned for so long is because of how dysfunctional this bathroom space was before. It just felt like I couldn't do anything in there and it felt like no matter what I did, things were unorganized and there was just chaos and it was just too much. So now that this space is organized, I honestly feel like it is so freeing and I feel like a different person, which sounds like really silly because we're just talking about a bathroom update and organizing a space but it seriously made such a difference for me and just having all of our things in a good place where they're easily accessible and things make sense and not to mention how much cleaner this bathroom is now that we've put all of this new stuff in it has seriously improved my mental health again may sound silly to some of you but it's the truth but now I'm going to thin out my makeup brush collection there was just a ton that I never use and probably never will use so I got rid of those but I know I'm not over you keep missing the fights even though there's over we had a fire now we're watching it burn low 
We had been storing most of our bathroom items in the baby's room for the past couple of weeks while we were working on the bathroom. So I'm going through that and decluttering it. I realized that while we were doing all of the renovations, there were some things that none of us were using. No one reached for it or asked for it in the time that we were working on the bathroom. So I just figured that that was a good time for me to say goodbye to those things. So I just made a couple piles, one to go into the bathroom, one to put into the linen closet, and then the other one is just trash. Now we're going to work on putting things away into the vanity. So the first thing that I did was work on these drawers and the drawer dividers did help a little bit. Like I said, they didn't really fit properly into these drawers like I hoped that they would. I guess my measurements were just a little bit off, but they did help to just compartmentalize some things. And I do suggest that you use something like that to divide out drawers. If you just have one big open drawer, it's going to look like a mess, but if you compartmentalize it and you just kind of divide it out some way it will definitely help to make it look a little bit more organized Surprise, but i know i'm not over you i keep missing a fight think i'm losing my mind but i guess that's what love do You will notice that I don't keep cleaning products under the sink in the bathroom and that's because we have a linen closet directly outside of the bathroom and that's where I'm storing those things because they're literally right around the corner. And I do have a video where I organized that linen closet and I posted that back in I want to say February and that closet still looks pretty much identical to the way that I organized it then. So that's how you know that a system is working. I probably could do a little bit of a declutter in that closet, but honestly, it has really, really worked. So I'll link that video down below if you need some organization motivation for your linen closet. So now I'm going to show you guys how everything ended up looking and I'm so happy with it. Again, this mirror is top notch. It's amazing. It makes me so happy. Seriously, if you have a very, very small bathroom and you have the means to put in a recessed mirror, I would 1000% recommend it. It has made such a difference for us, but otherwise just using vertical space where you can makes such a difference. So using the shelf risers, using those two tier baskets, any stackable type of organizer that you can find, drawer dividers can really help too in a small space. And you do not need to spend a ton of money on organization supplies. I purchased everything, like I said, from either Amazon or Target, but I know that Dollar Tree definitely has some good organization stuff. Sometimes the Target dollar section has some good organization stuff. So you do not need to spend a lot of money, but it is so nice to have an organized space. It, like I said, helps my mental health. Might sound silly to some people, but it is very true for me. Overall, I am so happy with our new updated bathroom and I hope that you guys like it as well. It was not fully finished in this video, but it was close to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next week for another one.